Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> I think 4K is a little too much for me. Hello, everyone. This is Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16. Woo! Welcome to the state of play. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story, world, and combat system of Final Fantasy 16. Is it just me, or does he look older? <laughs> all new information regarding the game's wide variety of RPG elements and support systems. We'll be talking you through everything while using never-before-seen gameplay footage running on the PlayStation 5. God, the music. You'll stay with us until the end of the show and enjoy everything we have in store for you. With that, let's get started. Yay! <laughs> Here we go! You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. Oh, the voice acting's different. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I mean, it's the same voice actor, but I it's different. Focus, Wyvern. From the first trailer. Home, sweet home. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy 16. Oh. Final Google. Fantasy 16 <laughs> is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. Right. With right. a fusion of real-time action. You get to play as this kid. Features, Final Fantasy 16 has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I did not know that. Using the power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience which we liken to a high-speed roller coaster ride. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, it's oh, you get to play as the summons. Oh. <laughs> or the icons? <laughs> In Final Fantasy 15, you couldn't do that. You couldn't play as the icons. It was just uh, there for special attacks. Look at Titan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, wow. Oh, this is this is getting exciting. <laughs> the protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield, and his journey takes place in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life, his teens, twenties, and thirties. Wow, 30 years of this character's story. While the story begins with Clive in his twenties, a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. Huh, okay. Need to recommend specs for this game. Um, and thus does the what are specs? <laughs> newest Final Fantasy adventure. Are, are you talking about like? Oh, it's coming out on PC, right? Um, this is well for now. This is only PS5. Um, it it probably will come out on PC like a like probably like six months, maybe a year later, something like that. They, I mean, they did it for Final Fantasy VII remake, so I'm assuming they're doing it for this game too. God, the quality's awful. <laughs> the video quality's awful. <laughs> uh, but still, I mean, despite that, this looks so good. Jeez. 
I thought he was gonna, like, bite his head off or something. <laughs> Navigation I've been playing too much Resident Evil. <laughs> ...is driven via a world map, with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. Oh, world travel, map cool. ...can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valisthea. Oh, Here, players man. Will meet new friends, encounter... Look at the world! Problems. And uncover great and wondrous mysteries. Oh, look at this! Oh man, I can't. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't fucking wait. Ugh. I mean, I was saying this when we were watching that world exploration trailer. Oh, look at this! Oh man, I like that place. I mean, I was, yeah, like I was saying before, I mean, the, even the dungeons look awesome. <laughs> uh, RDX 28 will do the 28 Super. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to talk about the combat of Final it should. I mean, I think I have a 3070, All if I'm not mistaken. The game take place in real time and are not turn based. But yeah, I'll, yeah, I think it will. The story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Let's come out PC immediately. No, unfortunately not. Um, well, I mean, I'm more of a PlayStation guy, anyways. Um, so I'm going to be playing on PS5. But uh, it'll be released eight to twelve months after PS5. Ah, oh, yeah, then. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I, I mean, we don't know how this game plays yet, but it looks amazing. I think a, a couple streamers know. Uh, we've, had a, we've had the opportunity to have early access to this game, but... <clears throat> God, man. What is that? Oh, shit. It looks like you can do so much with this combat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I remember seeing that in the last trailer. God damn, man. <laughs> oh, you don't have a PS5? Uh, yeah. Those are still hard to get uh, these days. I've heard. Players can use ability points collected by defeating enemies. Okay, to we got a spear grid. Or upgrade <laughs> existing ones. Can't decide which iconic ability. This is a 3070 should be real good. No yeah, problem. yeah. You can let the game choose for you. I heard. I actually heard that Twitch is now doing uh, what 1440. Final Fantasy 16 includes a range of tiny is that right? accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so Like, it would look really good to me, but, I mean, uh, it would probably look really good to you guys, too, but I, as far as I know, my settings are only up to, like, 1080, 60. But I've heard that Twitch now does 1440. A combination I can particularly recommend to those who may struggle with action gameplay. Oh, there's quick the time events. Timely focus and the ring of timely strikes. This combination allows players to unleash a wide array of different techniques just by pressing a single attack button. 
as well as shifting into a window of slow motion whenever Clive is about to be hit by an attack. Wow. Give them a little extra time to hit R1 and evade. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, oh, really? I really encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. So you can automatically dodge uh, if you have the right accessory equipment. I think I prefer manual. <laughs> and for those ah! who want to concentrate on the story, <laughs> don't forget to choose story focus mode before starting a new game. Right, right. <laughs> In this mode, Timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. They only have two levels? Two difficulty levels? Hmm. I wonder which one... Action focus is probably hard, I'm assuming. Clive will meet many characters is this? along his journey who will join him as friends and allies. Hmm. This place. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I was about to say, is this CG? <laughs> it's it's hard to tell with Final Fantasy these days. How do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Well, I imagine the insane real life money costs for the auto dodge says Yeah. <laughs> a friend from Clive's youth. <laughs> Such encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. I'm assuming auto dodge and, and video game money probably costs a lot as well. It's a pretty good ability to have. Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures, fighting alongside him and finding lots to talk about along the way. That cool. Said, we got party members. Only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. Rama. You don't want party members? <laughs> We've, we even got a dog on our side. <laughs> Shiva! Oh, you want to control him if you- yeah. Cannot forget Torgal. <clears throat> yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it seems like they're automatic, unfortunately. A smart, strong, 15 started out that way, though. Pound. I mean, Torgal and later, it, you could control side, them. And willing to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them. So maybe later we'll be able to control them in this game. But players can also give him direct commands. Just don't forget to give this good boy some yeah. treats every now and then. <laughs> oh, we can give him treats. I want to do that. Get her upstairs. Well, but none will. Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side. He's the comic life. relief of this game. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Go. On. Have a look around. I'll be in my solo. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Here in the hideaway, Clive will find a shop where he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. Not many options. <laughs> Blackthorn, a highly skilled blacksmith, works the hideaway's forge, bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Cool. After upgrading your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Also, we can battle at any time. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space, where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Oh wow, you can... Once you're it looks like you can make it as skills, easy as you want. Try your hand at arcade mode, and see how your scores stack up against players from around the world. The hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well.
Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valistia. I like the music. I like the music. <laughs> hey, Dujins, how's it going? How you doing tonight? Or today? <laughs> Had to be done with work, yeah. This is a great way to back. Uh, start off not working. <laughs> Moogle! Koopo! Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks, fearsome foes lurking about the realm in desperate need of slaying. The oh, we're doing Final Fantasy XII stuff? Like hunts? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> There's also Lorsman Harpocrates who will unlock Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, they even have the music. You, today. you wish to study the tomes? Oh, I love it. Uh, Playtime would be 20 hours stories, 10 hours screwing around, so many hours giving the dog treats and pet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tales, what is it a scholar and strategist who will be more than happy to show up longer than 15 the current state of the realm yeah, it could be to provide yeah. information on key players there are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway to help players get even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy 16 for me to be however many hours story and then a hundred plus hours of just looking around <laughs> and 70 hours of feeding the dog. <laughs> On his travels, Clive oh god, the Marlboro. <laughs> wide array of fearsome foes. The Marlboro in this one looks dried up. <laughs> Oh shit. It seems like he's got some Noctis abilities too, where he can uh dodge pretty easily. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god. Who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Mysterious constructs of the fallen, a civilization shrouded in mystery. Man, these these fights are gonna be so they're gonna be so cool. Eleventh hour? What does that mean? Has he been fighting this guy for eleven hours? Oh my god, look at this. Cannot 
forget the icons themselves. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. Unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. Oh cool. The shining point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> These epic confrontations all play out in real time. Wow. Allowing players to control their very You shaving your head when it comes out? <laughs> no, no. No, I like my hair too much. <laughs> Well, you get a lot of time for that cinematic story. These differ depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Reminds me about Leviathan Battle in 15. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, to a heavyweight wrestling the Leviathan Battle in 15 was the best boss battle out of all of them. It, it was the coolest. <clears throat> These massive scale boss battles are entirely seamless, and I can promise you heart stopping, controller gripping excitement. Oh I my can't god. You to get your hands on the game for yourself. Yeah, this is this looks like just. Look how small Ifrit is compared to Titan. <laughs> I feel like I'm tiny. <laughs> It's like all these boss battles are Leviathan battles in 15. But if you can do it, then so could I! Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> god, man, no wonder it took him seven years to make this game. This looks fucking amazing! <laughs> what is this? God, man. I'm gonna need like 300 gigabytes of free space on my PS5 <laughs> for this game. <laughs> I was wondering who this enemy was. God, the music! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit, look at this! <laughs> Damn, 40,000 damage? <laughs> this is an acid trivia. <laughs> I... Oh... Oh. oh, Odin. So do we get to play as a freight against all the icon battles? That's what it seems like. Because I guess because our main character is a freight, really. Oh my god, two million damage? Holy shit. So everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide June 22nd. It was already 20 minutes? Plenty that we've left to reveal. Battle oh my god, I felt like it was five. End game content and more. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly excited to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists. 
Kenshi Yonezu. We've still got a lot okay. more in store for you in the coming weeks, <laughs> and I hope you all pre-order the game and join us in Ballastia on release day. This Looking forward to it. This is Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16. See you again soon. Sixteen producer no Yoshida de shita. Yay! Woo! <laughs> that was great. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna watch it again because <laughs> that was amazing. I want to see everything you again. All know the target. Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. I'm kind of glad they didn't show much more story stuff. Yes, um, Because, like I said, I was I was worried about being spoiled uh, too much. I said focus, Wyvern. <clears throat> it was really just about combat and um, what the world looks like and everything. Home, sweet home. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy Google. 16 <laughs> is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous I games before jumping in. I can't wait to explore the world. The fusion you know. of real-time action and RPG Hey, Killer Mama, how's it going? How you doing today? Has been developed as the you made it just in time, actually. This is the second time we're watching this. <laughs> Using the power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, Oh god, I can't wait for this. It looks like we're playing as a phoenix a on this part. Although we could be playing as a free. God, man, when, when you play this game, can you imagine the icon fights? Against Titan, I this boss fight, I think I'm the most excited for this one right here. <laughs> hey, uh, Emperor's new gun, how's it going? <laughs> How you doing today? The protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield, and his journey. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive. You just made it in time, actually. We just, uh, we're, this is the second time we're watching this, um, after seeing the first time. <laughs> His teens, twenties, and thirties. Not laughing because it's totally the wrong channel. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've actually done that before. <clears throat> While the story begins with Clive in his twenties, a fully playable but um, still glad you could join us. The pivotal events that shaped his past and present. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. Wow. Since you go through uh, Clive's uh, age process, you know, 30 years, or uh, around 30 years, um, I'm guessing this is a pretty long story. Clive, I... This is Live Under a Rock, is this a new comic? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's coming out June 22nd, in two months. And, uh, me personally, I'm I'm most passionate about Final, the Final Fantasy series out of any video game series. So, to me, this is like... It, 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 it's like a... It's like a, a, a Star Wars fan, uh, how they would act if they saw a new Star Wars movie coming up. <laughs> looks good as well. Yeah, yeah. This looks... Oh, man. Wait till you see the combat. Especially against the summons. Or, they're called, this, they're called icons in this game. ...is driven via a world map, with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. We wait for PC release, yeah. At any time, allowing Not me. 
all not me boy <laughs> i'm playing this game as soon as i as soon as it comes out <laughs> oh look at this world Here, players will meet new friends encounter formidable foes and uncover great and wondrous mysteries <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see. I mean, I just saw it, but I can't wait to see, like, when I'm playing, the the whole world, especially that city that they just saw, with the huge crystal, the mother crystal. Oh my God, this looks this place is this place looks amazing. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Obviously, games have never had a shortage of, of beauty. Yeah, yeah, that's 100% agree. Yeah. I mean, I'm always blown away with how good the, the graphics are in every Final Fantasy. Next, I'd like to talk about the combat. I like to think of them as the leader in graphics. <laughs> All the battles in the game <clears throat> take place in real time and are not turn based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Oh my god, he's got the triple slash! I didn't even notice that before. He's got Cloud's triple slash. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> the combat looks like you'd be continually pressing buttons without, like, any interruption or any breaks. I mean, that's how... That's how, uh... What's the word? That's how intense it's gonna be, if that's the right word. <laughs> <clears throat> God damn. <laughs> oh, that attack looks familiar. What is that? That's on the previous Final Fantasy, I think. Oh, man. I, that's going to bother me. I wish I, I could think of it. You got Odin's special ability. Yeah. The abilities that Clive wields have you And it looks like you can switch between uh the icon Like it looks like on the top left, I know you guys can't see because of me, uh, my camera, but it looks like on the top left you can switch between summon abilities. Um or upgrade existing ones. Because I saw like um there were different there were like three different summon abilities that you can use and you can switch between them like in um No problem. You can let sort of like in seven remake. Music sounds fabulous too. Yeah, yeah. Music in this game is is amazing. God, this is gonna be. To provide Unless to Seven Rebirth comes out in 2023, um, this is definitely gonna be my game of the year. Encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations. Game of any year. <laughs> until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. <clears throat> A combination I can particularly recommend to those who may struggle with action gameplay is the Ring of Timely Focus and the Ring of Timely Strikes. This combination allows players to Here, I'll show you guys. I love the Oops. just by pressing a single attack button. I love the quick well, time events. You can see right here on the top left, like there's like pictures of different attack, summons and you could switch between them. them. <laughs> extra time to hit R1 and evade. Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, I really encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. I love the dodge and counterattack. And 
And for those who want to concentrate on the story, don't QTEs. forget to choose story focus mode before starting a new game. There's so much to this game. Jeez. <laughs> In this mode, Timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. Mode cannot- oh, can be changed after starting game. Okay. I thought it said cannot for a second. I was like, really? <laughs> Is this CG? Does it look CG to you guys? Characters along his journey it's hard to tell. <laughs> as friends and allies. Is that just me? <laughs> These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill. <laughs> A friend from Clive's youth. It really is Such me. encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive! Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures, fighting alongside him <laughs> oh. and finding lots to talk about along the way. That said, players will only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. You know, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying, uh, John Boy, about, you know, the parties being fully AI driven, but to be honest, there's so much going on that, or there's so much you can do with just one character that you, you may not even think about it, to be honest. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> a smart, strong, and full ah! of loyal hound, Torval is always by Clive's side. <laughs> it's so far in the air. In the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them, Torval will act of his own accord, but players can also give him direct commands. Just don't forget to give this good boy some treats every now and then. <laughs> Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on, have a look around. I'll be in my solar. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Here in the hideaway, Clive will find a shop where yes. he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. Blackthorn, a highly skilled blacksmith, works the hideaway's forge bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade well, existing I mean, items. After upgrading your equipment <laughs> or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space. Invincibility. <laughs> free to refine and practice combos. Unlimited break? Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode and see how your scores stack up against players from around the world. Oh, that's cool. The that should be one of my quests of other features to get first well. place in training mode. <laughs> to be the best out of anybody in the world. <laughs> Just play 200 hours of this. Not only will players <laughs> discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valisthea. That's pretty cool. You can travel right to the side quest. I really love the player swap in 15. Right, yeah. Five? 
Yeah. Still busy saving the world. <clears throat> like I said, they might have it later in the game, nice. uh, in 16, so... When did you get back? Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Excuse me. <laughs> Visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks. Fearsome Moogles. foes lurking about the realm in desperate need of slaying. The Moogle will be your guide. You can bet we're going to 100% this game. Or at least try to. <clears throat> doing all the hunts, doing all side quests, doing everything. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <clears throat> There's also Lorsman Harpocrates, who will unlock Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. I have quite a find for you today. <laughs> you wish to study the tomes? <laughs> Ether. Here for another of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, Bob has you 14 and stuff. Strategist who will be more than happy to explain to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and oh. features in the hideaway to help players get even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy 16. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I really wonder who the. I really want to know, like, actually, who the characters are and what their story is, their background and everything. God, man. <sighs> On his travels, Clive will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. I've noticed that uh, when Clive is facing same level enemies, it looks it looks like it takes a while just to kill them. Every hit that Clive makes only takes like like one percent of the HP or less. <laughs> There's definitely going to be a lot of action in this game. Clash with the dominance who wield the power of the icons. Jeez, man. <laughs> beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Mysterious constructs of the fallen, a civilization shrouded in mystery. God, the music is getting me hyped up. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing this game, actually. <laughs> Oh, was there a, a parry as well? Either that or he was just blocking. And we cannot forget the icons themselves. This is the best part. <laughs> Experience unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. The shining point of Final Fantasy 16, however, 
has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. Oh my god, man. <laughs> confrontations all play out in real time, allowing players to control their very own icon with their own hands. These battles differ depending on the icon. I can't wait! Ah! Every showdown I can't wait! <laughs> right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battle. Oh, we gotta destroy all those orbs. These massive scale boss battles are entirely. I'm hitting 30,000 HP, or he's hitting 30,000 HP with every attack, and it's still like less than 1% of his on the HP. Game for yourself. Or one person, yeah. I mean, with Titan, it's not that bad, but... God damn, man. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so you have to target the enemy and then it'll auto lock. That's when you can attack. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this music. Man, to me, this looks like the best boss fight ever. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. And I didn't even notice this before, but it looks like you can face multiple multiple phases of Titan. Two point seven million damage. So everyone. Oh, thank you for that was too short again. To <laughs>